I'm gonna show you the best video editing app, and it doesn't matter if you're on an Android or an iPhone, it's got you covered. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. I get asked a lot what the best video editing app is, so I figured, hey, it's time I put a video together about it. And not only am I gonna show you the app itself, but I'm gonna give you a crash course on how to actually use it. And real quick, before we get into it, if you have an app that you currently use to edit on your phone, leave it down in the comments below so other people that are gonna watch this video can check that out too. The app we're gonna be using for this is called KindMaster. They have a free version and they have a paid version, but whichever version you pick, we need to go to the phone for the tutorial, so let's go. Now, as we get into this, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is available for Android and for iPhones. So it doesn't matter which platform you're on, KindMaster can take care of you. Now, we're gonna get this started with hitting the plus button in the middle. Now you're gonna see, they're gonna give you a project assistant to where they're basically dummy proofing it for you to help you put it all together, or we're gonna select the empty project. In this situation, because I'm trying to mimic what I would do on a computer. So in that situation, I'm gonna hit the empty project so that I can build it from the ground up. Of course, the choice is yours. But once we have KindMaster open, and we have the actual layout of what's going on in here. If you look over to the right, you're gonna see the option for the media browser, for the layers, the audio, and the voice. You wanna click on media browser, in order to pull in your videos. So for here, I'm going to pull in a video that I have in here. If you look at the top, it lets you organize by video files. So I'm gonna pull those in. And here, I'm going to go ahead and just select something for something that I did on Patreon. So once I have that in here, now you're gonna see that I have the options. If I click on this track, I can crop it, I can cut it, um, I can do different things with the speed controls, any of that stuff. I can do it all right over here. So we're gonna start it out with a color filter. So I'm just gonna smack this color filter on there just to kind of give it its own little look there. And then I'm gonna hit the check mark to basically finalize that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the track again. And let's say that I wanna cut out this part right here. All I have to do is hit the scissors and it gives you the option to completely delete everything on the left or right or just to split it um, or I can extract the audio or whatever. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to split it at the playhead just so I can show you how easy it is here to just drag and trim what's going on here. So you can actually break this down per frame, which is absolutely awesome because that really lets you dial in exactly what it is that you want your video to look like, which is extremely powerful. Now, of course, as you can see, like let's say that I wanna make this, this second part, you know, a little bit slower. Like if I was doing like scenery shots or something like that, I can pull the speed back a little bit, um, which is also great, you know, for the effect. In addition to that, where KindMaster really stands out is in this next option here. Now, if you watch a lot of professionally produced videos, you'll see that they have a lot of different footage on top of each other. Like on my videos, for example, you'll see me talking. While I'm talking, you know, I'll have graphics or I'll have an image or another video come up on the screen. To do that in KindMaster, all you have to do is click on the layer option, and then they give you, you can paint on the screen, you can add text, you can add an overlay, you can add effects to it, or you can add additional media. So in this case, I'm going to add the additional media, and I'm going to go into my pictures, I'm just gonna grab a picture out of here, and I'm gonna scale this up so that she fits nice and even in the frame there. And now what's really cool about this is they give you the option here for the in and out animations as well as overall animations. So I'm gonna click on the in animation and I'm gonna have her drop down from the top, right? So when it comes in, it's a little bit more interesting than just having an image pop up on the screen. And then I'm going to go to the out animation. And for here, you know what? I'm just gonna have it slide to the right a little bit. And again, with this being fully customizable, you can even adjust the speed of the fade as that transition takes place, which is also extremely powerful. So let's say that in this situation, like what I just did there where I closed it, and you know, it's a little bit off screen down there at the bottom, but I wanna make sure that I select it. So I can you know, tap down there at the bottom to try to select it, or over on the left, they actually give me a track view. So I can just click on that track view and it will show me I click on this to turn that little preview window on and off, but it basically will show me what it is that I'm seeing so I can basically edit things by track. So in the event that let's say this wasn't lined up perfectly where I wanted, then I can just click on it, hold it down, scoot it into a different position, and then now it's gonna be in a better place where I want it because it's actually going to cover up that cut that I made right up there at the top that you can see. So in order to get out of this, all you have to do is you have to click on that track option button again, and then you'll see it with the bigger preview window. Now, another thing that's really cool is they also have in here, like you saw that I added to mine, 
is, you know, I can go down here and I can crop this. I can choose the opacity on it. I can do specific color adjustments, or I can come in here and I can grab any of the pre-made filters, you know, just to kind of make everything look a little bit more richer to have a little bit of a style to it, which is also a huge bonus. Another thing we're gonna do to take this whole thing up a little bit more, say we wanna add text going across the screen. What I would do is I would click on the layer option here and I would click on text, and then I'm going to just do some text here. Just gonna put editing, I'm gonna put that up on the screen. Now I'm going to make this bigger so it kind of fills up the whole screen there, almost the whole screen. And then I'm going to click here and I'm going to pick a font that you know looks similar to any of my branding stuff. This is probably the closest that I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna click on that. And then as you can see, now I can kind of adjust this to however I want it to be on the screen. Now what's really cool, if you wanna take this up a whole other level, is I can actually go in here and I can take the opacity down and make it to where I can still see through, but it's not totally obstructing my image, which is really, really cool. So let's say I wanna scale that down a little bit and kind of put it down here just to get out of the way for whatever reason. And then I have that as well, but you have the full freedom to move all of this stuff anywhere you want. And like I said, when you go into that track view, now, that, now you can see that that editing option is also up here, that editing text option. So if I want that to come in at the beginning of her clip, then I would just take that and then I would scoot it over and then that would also come in at the beginning of her clip. So if I wanna take that also to where I wanted to animate when it comes in, then I would do the same exact thing to where I'm gonna have this one pop in and then I'm going to have it on its way out. I'm going to have it slide down. So it just adds you know, a little bit of style to, to what it is that's going on you know, with everything that's happening on the screen. Once you have everything set up how you want it and you have your, your video fully edited, you do have the option as well. Let's say you wanna add your voice to this. Um, let's say there's a part of the, the video that you don't like and you just wanna do a voiceover or you just have a bunch of clips and you wanna talk about, hey, you know, this is the vacation I took. These are the things that I was doing on the vacation. All you have to do is you click on the voice option and then you can hit start. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna let you record your voice. Now, I have a video that I'm gonna put a card to at the top of the screen on how to get the best audio into your phone. And the way that you do that is through the review that I, that I used for that is through a product called the Rode Video Mic Me. This thing is amazing for audio on a phone, for doing voiceovers and stuff like that. I'll put a link to that down in the description below, but it is an awesome little microphone, super small, plugs right into your phone and it's ready to go. Now, once you have everything set up to where, you know, you want it to say, hey, you, you know what, I wanna save this or I wanna send it to YouTube or whatever, all I have to do is click on the share button. Here you can save it to your video gallery. Um, you can upload it to YouTube, Facebook, Google+, drop it right in Dropbox folder or a bunch of other options if you click the three dots. Uh, right there. One thing that I do want to point out here that's very important is if you look up at the top right here of the actual preview screen, you're going to see a watermark with a little trash can next to it. Now, the free version of KineMaster is going to export this with a watermark. In order to get that watermark off of there, you're going to have to actually click on that trash can button and you're going to have to actually purchase KineMaster. So it's worth it, right? I mean, it's only five bucks right here. This Currency is displayed in Thai baht, which is my local currency, but 158 Thai baht is roughly five US dollars and the 1200 baht is roughly uh, about 30 US dollars for the whole year. So, you know, you have that option and it's totally worth it. If you are somebody that says, hey, you know what, either one, I'm trying to edit videos on my phone and I want something that works that that will mimic what can what I can do on a computer. Or if you say, hey, you know what, I wanna just make some social media clips for my phone that I can kind of edit together while I'm at work or while I'm on the go or you know something like that, then this is also another great tool that you can use basically so you can create that additional content you know, while you are on the run. If you learned something from this video, it would be cool of you to share it. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.